Mac OS Ventura has finally been released and with it came a brand new genius feature from Apple. Why buy another really expensive webcam for your web conferencing if you don't like the built-in webcam like the 1080p one on the 16-inch MacBook Pro when you could simply use your iPhone's webcam which is by far better than any other webcam you can find anywhere. I mean, this is killer. And the best part about it is that every time you upgrade your iPhone to a new one, your webcam basically gets even better. And of course, I'm talking about the brand new continuity camera feature that Apple showed off in June at WWDC, and it is finally released and official. So in this video, I'm going to go through a setup and a tutorial guide, including all the different settings and everything else you need to know to use continuity camera. So let's jump right into it. You can see on my display right here, it says use iPhone as a webcam. Of course, I already have macOS Ventura installed right here, and it says continuity camera lets your iPhone be a webcam for your Mac when both devices are near each other, which I have it right here. It automatically connects, which is awesome. You have your visual effects, even your desk view, which I'm gonna show you guys. So let's hit continue. So getting right into it, I have Photo Booth open right here, which is a good app to kind of show the webcam. And as you can see, the quality is pretty bad. It's honestly not too great. So let's test out continuity camera. Now check out how easy it is to turn this on. You literally just go up to the camera tab in the menu bar. You can see it's set to FaceTime HD camera. All you gotta do is click on the iPhone camera right here and watch it switch. Hey, there you go. Wow, that quality is insane. That is incredibly good camera quality. Look at that. Now, of course, you're not going to be holding your iPhone while doing a web conference. you got to mount it somehow to basically the top of your MacBook. And that is why you're going to need some sort of accessory like Moff's new laptop phone holder, which basically connects to the top of your MacBook. You basically can flip it out to the side or you can go up so let me show you how easy it is. Let me first use this little sticker to attach it to the MacBook. Now the goal of getting this mounted correctly is to put it in the corner of your MacBook so that way you can flip it out like this to mount your iPhone on the side or you can flip it up like that to use for continuity camera. So all you gotta do is simply take the little adhesive protector off. There you go. We have our sticker. Flip it over, line it up, and stick it on. There you go, apply some pressure, make sure it's stuck on good. And one thing I really like is the clean Moth logo on the back with this nice vegan leather texture. And now that it's set up, all you do is you grab it from the back, flip it over, and then mount your iPhone right on the side like this. And I do recommend using a MagSafe compatible case to make the magnetic strength a little bit stronger like Moff's snap case right here. And there you go, you have like a secondary iPhone display which you can use, let's say browse Twitter or whatever, while you're working on your MacBook, for example. Or of course you can mount it on the other side if you want to, which you usually wouldn't do because for continuity camera, we actually wanna use it just like this. You flip up the phone holder, and then you can mount your iPhone like this, again, as a secondary display, but now in widescreen view so that you can, let's say, watch some videos or movies while you're working. But we're actually gonna flip it to the other side, just like that. And now we have our iPhone set up facing us, giving us awesome continuity camera quality, literally the best webcam you can get. So with that said, you'll find a link to Moff's laptop phone holder down in the description and pinned comment below. But now getting back into the continuity camera tutorial and guide, as you can see, we set it back up. And now check this out, this quality comparison between the actual webcam on the 16-inch MacBook Pro, which is now better. It's 1080p with really good software and the new ISP. And you can tell that the quality is so much better. You literally can't beat it. And once again, let me mention that every time you upgrade your iPhone, you're getting a webcam upgrade with continuity camera, which makes it so amazing amazing and worth it compared to spending a couple hundred dollars or more on an actual pro 4k camera or webcam. But now with that said, let's jump back into FaceTime, which is where a lot of people are actually going to use this. Other apps like Zoom, Google Meets, whatever you want to use. Once again, we go to that video tab and click on the iPhone camera. Bam, we get a huge increase in quality. That is just insane. Let's do a quick little FaceTime. And there you go, you can see that we have our little FaceTime window right here. 
And you can actually click this little button for the background blur effects, which using the actual iPhone camera makes this so much more clean and accurate compared to using the webcam. I mean, it looks amazing. You blur out your background. But the really cool thing is the new desk view, which you can just click that button right there and it's gonna pop it up. Whoa, look at that. Okay, so let's share the desk view. Wow, this is weird. Look, <laughs> if you have it set up like this, you could literally be showing stuff off or like your keyboard, whatever, desk view. That looks pretty cool actually if you wanna show something or anything else, bam. I'm surprised this works so well using the uh, ultra wide camera. And then you could actually zoom in more. It's kind of weird. Oh, there you go, look at that. That is zoomed out quite a lot. That's cool that you can do that. Let's show some stuff off. Hey, <laughs> I mean like, I guess there are some use cases where this is actually very useful and wow, that's cool. You probably wouldn't want it that zoomed in. So look at that. We have these little FaceTime settings where you can change the shared view share the entire screen. Now even better, you could actually switch to using your iPhone's microphones instead of the built-in ones inside of your MacBook. So I'll just go up to the video tab and you can see right here, just go into Max's iPhone microphone right there and now it is using it for the audio. That's gonna be useful if let's say you have an older MacBook with still macOS Ventura, but the microphones are not that great, especially on some older MacBooks compared to let's say you just got a brand new iPhone with killer microphones, you're gonna get much better quality out of your iPhone's mics. And now I know with this corner set up for the microphone holder, you could have it kind of off to the side if you want the display view, or you can have it like this and it's a little bit off balance in terms of not being centered with the MacBook, but of course you could also stick it right here on the back for a more direct view. So if you wanted a perfectly centered image, you just basically grab your iPhone with a moft holder on it, line it up to be perfectly where you would like it, and then kind of save that spot and stick it right there. And there you go, using it with this method, we have a perfectly centered image just like with your regular webcam. This is the way I would probably do it if I really wanted to use continuity camera all the time with the great video quality. Just look at that. That is amazing. So basically, there you guys go. That's continuity camera using your iPhone and MOFS phone holder. This is basically the best way to do it if you want the absolute greatest webcam quality. Of course, let me remind you, you have to have macOS Ventura, so that's available now. Go ahead and download it, test out this feature. It basically works automatically. You just go up into the video tab and choose your iPhone camera. That is it. That's super convenient, and I think this is probably the best webcam you can buy, so go ahead and check out Moff's phone holder down in the description and pinned comment below. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, click the circle above to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.